everyone, welcome back to the channel, it's Patricia. I will be filming a vlog for you. Um, this is just kind of what I've done, not even just today, but uh, just some clips of some stuff that I've done throughout the week. So if you guys want to see, keep watching. Also, I'd like to thank everyone that has subscribed to the channel. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. To start the vlog off, um, I was walking to the Superstore. As you can see here, they're doing lots of construction to this new, I believe, condo building. You can still access all of the shops there. It's just kind of awkward when you're underneath all of these things here. Now, I did not film inside of the store. I just kind of filmed what I purchased here. I was sort of in a rush to get my groceries. I did a small unpacking of the groceries for you guys. Um, I didn't spend that much money and I only picked up a few things just because sometimes I go to the grocery store a few times a week. It really depends on the sales and kind of what I am making for the week. I'm loading my second bag here just because it had the most stuff in it and obviously I didn't want to break my fragile chips so I put them in a separate bag. Sorry for the super awkward camera angle. Okay, so these are all of the items that I've got from the grocery store. Um, I spent about $50. I did use my PC points of $20, so this ended up being $30 and something cents. Here is the receipt. You can pause the video to look at the prices. Went to 17th Avenue here just for a bite to eat. There was a Flames game going on. As you can see, a lot of people dressed in jerseys. Decided to eat at the Porch Restaurant. This is a, I forget what the name of the flatbread was, but um, it's beef tartare with some arugula and parmesan. The ambience in this restaurant is honestly awesome. And then we got some burgers with the Caesar salad and fries. Now on May 7th, I ended up going to the Alberta Beer Festival where they had over 700 vendors. It was a pretty cool event. I wasn't able to film very much, but I did try several different kinds of beer and enjoyed the entertainment that they put on. It's a great festival. They also gave you these little sampler cups that you can try beer with. They're super cute. To walk off all that beer, I ended up going for a walk in Eau Claire. This is the Eau Claire Market. Um, they have lots of parking here. I thought I'd show you guys more around Eau Claire just because I've shown you only so much in my other vlogs. Now here is a parking meter. You pretty much put in the zone number and your plate. It's pretty simple to park downtown. Usually they have these signs um, allowing you to park. Now in Eau Claire, I've mentioned there's some restaurants, shops. There's even a lot of hotels within the walking distance. The Westons here, Sheraton. They are usually about five minute walking distance within each other. Um, the Sheraton is closer to the Bow River and the Weston is on 4th Avenue, close to the Keg. In the summer around here, they have Eau Claire night markets. So there'll be a whole bunch of local um, stands and shops, lots of vendors and food options. They are still doing some construction here in Eau Claire. They are trying to fix up the waterfront and build it into this new whole project. Um, it's supposed to look actually very, very nice. I've seen a picture or model of what it's supposed to look like. So I'm not sure how long the construction is going to be here for. 
but if you do plan to come here to this area just keep note that they are doing lots of construction and you might have to do some detours around the area if you guys were interested in eau claire they have these cute little condos to the left side here it's straight on the pathway pretty private and you still get a really nice view and access to the trails and the bow river The Bow River finally melted. Here is a closer view of the water. This is the River Cafe that's very popular. Here are more condos that are a part of Eau Claire. Eau Claire runs pretty far down, um, close to the Peace Bridge. Closer to the Peace Bridge, you will get a break in between the Northwest area. Also, um, there's some very higher end condos to the right where you get a really nice view. In the summertime, they set up these food trucks also scooters are readily available you can pretty much find them in most areas there's more parking here downtown in eau claire now this is after business hours i'm sure throughout business hours um, in this area because there's a lot of big huge high rises that the parking situation is pretty busy in each different lots um, the prices vary and some places have heated garages which is really nice for the winter time you will just kind of have to shop around for which parking you would like to pay for but that's if only if you work downtown and if you don't live in the area i've noticed there's lots of different fitness centers throughout the high-rise buildings so if you do live downtown, there's many gym options down here. If you do decide to work downtown and you have children, there is a daycare or several daycares downtown. This one is in Eau Claire. They have an outdoor area. Also, they have lots of windows, um, so they get lots of sunlight if that is a factor for you. I'm not entirely sure of the age group for this place, but um, I was just kind of passing by and thought I'd show you guys. Here's another public parking sign, so it varies for each different one. Here's the Westin Hotel. The Starbucks and the keg is attached to the Westin, so if you were staying there, you could go down for some breakfast or some dinner. They have reliable places, very close. More parking downtown. That concludes the vlog for today. I uh, hope you guys liked it and I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.